Thanks for staying with us for this latest episode of The Broadway Show. Glad you're here. The Amazing Race has been one of America's favorite reality shows for years. It's also a big hit in Canada. In this season, one of the teams competing is a duo of Broadway dancers. It's the amazing race and the amazing story of survival. Have a listen. We discovered that from the biopsy that they did, it was an anaplastic astrocytoma. They gave me two to six years, and I'm going on my ninth year, so I always say I'm past my expiration date. I want my kids to see me and Craig win the Amazing Race Canada. Paul Wontori caught up with the team of Craig and Catherine. So good to see you. You two have been friends forever. Uh, I believe it's 25 years, and now you're celebrating your friendship on The Amazing Race Canada. What What is it like to actually get to do that on TV and to sort of present yourself on TV as best friends? We're watching them at the same time as everybody else is, so we don't know how they're gonna edit them, so it's nice to see that they are making us be best friends, which is what is actually true. <laughs> Authentically, what people are able to see is 25 years of friendship <laughs> with the extremes. I mean, Catherine and I have such a unique, great relationship that I hope a lot of people out there are able to experience at, at some point in their life. Yeah, we're besties. And this race brought us even closer together. I didn't know that that was possible, but it did. It's one thing we learned from doing the race. It's you deserve, especially out of this pandemic, get your best friend and go travel. Go take a weekend, a week, and get rid of your phone, put it down, and just spend time on each other and reconnect. So let me just start with this. What's the secret to a long friendship? People always talk about what's the secret to like, you know, a romantic relationship, but let's talk about friendship. I guess the secret to our friendship is that we just understand each other on a whole different level. Like we don't fight, we don't... Of course we fight. <laughs> What are you talking about? I've never actually been angry with you. I've been upset with you, but I've never been angry with you. I think what makes us work is that we put our egos aside. We we love each other from day one. We have a lot of commonality and a lot of goals that we set as friends. Um, and it took a long time, you know, and different goals to achieve, but it took a long time. So our friendship got to grow and we got to see so many different um for like uh, incarnations of what our friendship is. I read somewhere you call yourself you called yourself Team Broadway. You're very Broadway. I yeah. first met you when you were both uh, rising stars on Broadway. Fantastic performers, both of you. But you actually met in Canada in ballet school, I believe. Can you talk about what you remember about the first meeting? We bonded right away and we weren't quite sure why. And then we discovered that we both had a love of musical theater. Where at the Row and Pink Valley, not very many people did. Yeah, we were both loud and uh, and that's unique in the loud. ballet world. <laughs> and and I think that uh, we instantly knew we needed each other as a support team um, and support system because uh, although ballet is our foundation and is always, and I think always will be, um, our true first love uh, in the entertainment industry, uh, we did want to explore different outlets and and I, we only had each other really at that time. And this is the key too, with that Broadway uh, the Broadway musical theater lovers out there are going to be able to relate is um, Catherine and I uh, enabled each other for decades. And we needed that because it's so hard to be in this business where there's um, so much nose and, and judgment, but we always pulled each other up in those moments. Like, you're amazing. Those producers don't know what they're talking about not hiring you. Good luck with their show without you. All of this, this banter that really uh, helped us survive the industry and thrive, really, that really helped us um, in this amazing race experience. You show off a little bit that you are performers and dancers. And, and I mean, I love at the very beginning, there's literally the start of a race and everyone's like ready to start running. And you two are in full position. I don't even know what that's called, but you're in full position. You know, Catherine and I really uh, just fell right into that. Like we lifted up our leg. we dove it back as, as far back as we can. And one of the, the producers said, this could be a long day. And we're like, you obviously don't know us and what our abilities and our strength and stamina is. And he goes, no, I don't. And at the end of it, he's like, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so Catherine, back in June of 2013, you received, uh, you were dealt quite a blow um, when, when you received uh, 
brain cancer diagnosis. And I know that you have just passed nine years since that moment, which is amazing because you've already outlived the odds. Craig had been visiting me and we were doing like a workout with my newly born daughter who was five weeks. And I said, we had to stop. And he said, you need to go to the doctor because I never stopped doing anything. I called my doctor and I went in and I found a tumor in my head the size of bigger than my fist. So it was um, removed a couple of days later and then I couldn't talk or speak or, or do anything much. Um, and it was really rough and they gave me two to six years to live. I want to perform, I want to be on stage, I want to inspire people, I want to um, show people that just because I have brain cancer, it doesn't count me out from anything. I want people to know that I work really hard and things are much harder for me now than they were before. I want to show my kids that um, their mummy was tough and, uh, and my husband too. I'm just constantly amazed with Catherine. She puts things into perspective for me and I'm certain for most performers out there, um, just imagine like we're worried about learning lines or choreography. Imagine having a part of your brain, your short term memory wiped away. Catherine is still performing and, and, and able to somehow defy medical odds and be able to memorize and, and do this spectacular work. She's put on this earth for a purpose and the universe is certainly aligning her journey to be so universally inspiring. And not to worry, um, Catherine is powerful in many ways and she's a super human.